Brent Welder was running some pretty tough ads um, calling out uh, corruption uh, and uh, they say he's too liberal for doing that, which is hilarious. And then I wanna tell you about uh, his opponent and the folks that are supporting his opponent and, and what the reality is. Uh, because there's a lot of money that is coming in to try to crush this uh, great progressive candidate. So first I wanna show you the ads that Brent's running in, in the middle of Kansas. I'm Brent Welder and like you, I know that giant corporations and billionaires control our government. That's why I wrote the Democratic Amendment banning corporate money and I refuse corporate PAC money for my own campaign. I'm Brent Welder and I approve this message. Uh, I kinda love what his opponents are doing. They're saying that he's too progressive uh, for Kansas. So you think the message of being against the corporate takeover of our government isn't going to work in Kansas. <laughs> Can't wait to meet you in the voting booth, okay? My guess is the people of Kansas also don't want the corporate donors bribing our politicians. That's why Brent doesn't take any of their bribes. He t turns down corporate PAC money. That's why your small dollar donations to him make a big difference. Uh, but he's also going after the Republican really hard. Kevin Yoder, he already uh, is beating him by seven points. But part of the reason is his attitude, because here's another ad from Brent. I'm Brent Welder. If Congressman Yoder doesn't have the guts to stand up to Donald Trump and corrupt Wall Street loan sharks, I will. He's not just selling out, he's selling us out. I'm Brent Welder and I approve this message because Kevin Yoder, your time is up. Now, of course, the corporate Democrats don't like that, so they're running a corporate lawyer against him. Uh, and. Uh, they they don't want to be that tough on Kevin Yoder because they think being closer to the Republicans in Kansas might help them win. They've tried that strategy over and over again. It has not worked. This is a district that Bernie Sanders won easily uh, during the primary season, uh, and this is a district that Hillary Clinton won in the middle of Kansas. Let an actual progressive who is beating the incumbent by seven points flip the seat blue. Get out of the way, but they won't. Now, that doesn't mean that I think they should drop out of the primary. No, I believe in primaries and I, there should be healthy debate of ideas. Our idea is non-corporate PAC, uncorrupted. Their idea is, well, let's be more Republican light. So, uh, but what is frustrating is they put in a ton of money. So the corporate Democrats in this case, in the form of Emily's List, which pretends to be for women's rights, but actually is, uh, almost every time backing the more conservative candidate, and also in this case, is going to put in over $630,000 to try to defeat Brent Welder. Wait a minute, first of all, I thought the corporate Democrats told us to not spend our money in primaries, that that was a waste of money. Brent was already in the race, Brent was already beating the Republican incumbent, but you didn't like how progressive he was. So all of a sudden, here comes $600,000 wasted to run ads against the guy who's leading the Republican incumbent. Why? Nope, it's gotta be someone who's more pro-corporate. So his opponent, by the way, they brag, worked in the Obama White House, had a fellowship there. The part of the story they leave out is she continued that fellowship into the Trump White House. And despite the attack against the Affordable Care Act and the Muslim ban and all the egregious things that Donald Trump did, she didn't quit, she kept working for Trump in his White House. That's the one they think should represent progressives in Kansas. And they're gonna spend an ungodly sum of money to try to make that happen. TYTKansas.com, that is a way to contribute to Brent Welder's campaign. Our small dollar donations, I believe, will defeat their giant money donations. Uh, but you have got to get involved, either volunteer or donate uh, today, tytkansas.com.